M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. Many people have messaged me asking what is the difference between the new Yesu FTX1F and the ICOM705. The first thing I will say is look at the display. On the FTX, you can see two VFO frequencies. On the left, you've got the 70 sems. On the right, you've got 20 meters there. The 705 does not do this. It only shows one at a time. And Yesu have said that the FTX is dual receive simultaneous. The other obvious one to me is one radio is C4FM, that's the left one, and the ICOM is D Star. I'm not seeing an obvious Bluetooth on the Yesu, I am on the 705, also Wi Fi, but I wouldn't be surprised if Yesu do have a Bluetooth module. There's another one. The FTX has dual speakers the 705 just has the one speaker on the front and it uses the classic icon waterfall style that you can see there which is very popular and very easy to use touchscreen they're both touchscreen but the the ftx uses the 3ds system and if you look around the the, the vfo you've got those led lights that they're using on the yesu 710 so I feel that the technology they're using to get us to get us HF is going to be very similar. They're both SDR transceivers. They both do not have tuners. The Yesu has a module that sits on the back that can act as a tuner and there's actually an SO239 to that. With the ICOM you have to buy a completely separate unit. And I would say you'd have to buy the Yesu unit as well. Hopefully the battery is included when you buy the Yesu and that I believe is a 5000 milliamp hour battery. The BP307 battery that you can get for the 705 does last all day, it's a good battery. 3350 milliamp hours but it, it does last well and it will fit your Icon 51, 52 so it's versatile. Yesu have not done that. Ultimately they're both shacking the box radios. I don't feel like it does replace the Yesu 818, 819. I think it's a completely different kind of radio. The Yesu 818, it is a shack in the box. It fits in that nice leather case. You can carry it around with the antenna, you know, poking out. It's just, I just think it's a different beast altogether. This is definitely a replacement for the, the 705, not a replacement, to compete with the 705 that's, that's been asked for for many years. I wouldn't be surprised if you look at the model name, it does say 1F. Now, why have they used the word 1F? I wouldn't be surprised if they bring out a 100 watt version of this as well, and then it will be uh, have a slightly different title. They're going to keep using this case. They've decided to use this style. You've got it with the FTM 500, and, and I feel like this is the way that Yesu have decided to go. ICOM 705, they're going to, I feel that they'll bring out the Plus model, and they're just going to add the USB-C and being able to charge it via USB-C. The... Yes, the FTX, FTX does have USB-C. Group mode, wires X mode, you know, all the usual C4FM features look like they are in there, but you, I can't see APRS, but maybe it will be there, but they're not making it obvious where the 705 does have DPRS. Be a shame if they don't, because if you think about it, C4FM, um, there's a lot of D, um, GPS functionality within the C4FM system, so to leave out APRS, I think would be a shame. The filtering on both these devices will be excellent. There's no doubt about that. High quality devices, you know, well built. And you can tweak the scope. Ultimately, QRP 10 watt. These days you can buy amps inexpensively, 50 watt amps for 120 pound. You know, look at this PA 50. Works fine. And it's 50 watts. I never actually go above 20 watts. Price-wise, I think they're going to come out about the same price. Yesu do cut, tend to come in a little bit lower. If you look at the price of the Yesu 710, I think that was coming out about 1200 when the the um, 7300 was a bit more. Not a massive difference, but I do think they tend to be a lower price. Not seeing GPS on the screen there of the of the Yesu. So 705, they pretty much hit the ball out of the park when it was released. They, they got everything right from day one. I know many people ask for averaging on the scope of the of the new, you know, of the 710. And we have the, the software that they use for 
the SCU LAN. I wonder if that's going to work with this. Don't think so, but you never know. Also, external monitor. We can't use an external monitor on the 705. Can we use one on the on the new FTX? So the questions go on and on. A lot more to be announced. I, I, it's going to be a bestseller. There's no doubt about it. It doesn't matter what anyone says. It's going to be a bestseller. Um, and I think people are going to really enjoy using this device. Bye for now. 7.3.